I'll give it to her because I think she's a bit more. Um, uh, give her the shrewd of judgment. I'll replace her. Can you call this for me? She can. I want to let the whole world understand something very, very clear. In all this, this is judgment of the Supreme Court. It made it very clear that even that the impartiality of the judge is questionable. And is here. Where is the please do bear with me? Okay, it says page all these things are online. Yeah, yeah. Is it not page 18? Mm. All these things are online. So I suggest that the journalists in this country actually take out time to do some basic research. It's not difficult, just minor research. You will understand the vacuousness, the emptiness of all the charges against me. They kept they kept switching the charges. They said I committed this crime in England, isn't it? Yes. And in nine charges leveled against me, this place where I committed this crime was London, United Kingdom. Yes. When my lawyers came to see me, I defense. had a discussion with them mm -hmm. about how I'm going to defend myself. They removed it. I told them that no court in Nigeria has jurisdiction to try me. They removed that long since because, this because since this offense was committed in England, in England. so they said. Mm -hmm. It's only a UK court that can give a Nigerian court the authority to proceed, isn't it? Yes. The charge again. I removed London. Location of the broadcast. Location of the, of, of the broadcast. Contrary to section 1, what is it, 196? 196. 174 of the Terrorism Prevention Act 2022. In violation of their own laws. That's In violation of their own laws. And you want me to stand trial under such circumstances? Is that possible? No, no. They can to stand trial where these shenanigans are going on? It's not possible. Those of Biafra are trying to use my name to gain relevance. Yes. I don't want to. No I don't want any killings, no, no kidnapping. All this nonsense are alien to us as a people. Yes. I don't know where these animals came from. Yes. They are taking advantage of the fact that I'm in detention. But it will, it will soon end. Yes. It will soon end. What, 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 on IPOB. Yes. Trying to use the name of IPOB. Yes. Trying to subvert the will of the people, our principles and our core values. That person has a lot to contend with yeah. when Very the time well. comes. Yeah. You can run, but you can never hide. You can run and hide and be talking all manner of rubbish. But one day, we will catch up with you. This is for a client to get fair hearing. And if this fair hearing cannot be guaranteed in this court, then we need to try another court. The constitution is very clear on this. Section 36 made it very clear that he deserves, as of right, the adequate facility to prepare for his defense. And who prepares him for his defense? His defense counsel. But we're not being given the opportunity. The court did make some order. And the consequences of that order would have re re resulted in getting him adequately prepared. But most of those orders were disobeyed yes. in their material particulars. For instance, we were not provided a clean room where no one will have listening devices to listen to our conversations. And our documents, legal documents we take to the DSS facility, detention facility, are interdicted and seized and taken to places, photocopies and what not. Even anybody who is not a lawyer knows that a client, especially a defendant who is facing the death penalty, deserves to have some private time with his lawyers in terms of preparing for his defense. It's not everything we discuss that is critical to his defense that the prosecution is supposed to know in advance. But this is exactly what was happening in this matter. And then secondly, we do have three appeals. One goes to restoring his bail, which the Supreme Court criticized, severely criticized the revocation of his bail by this high court. And the other two go to the jurisdiction of the high court to try him for these offenses. So what is the really the, 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 what is really the essence of rushing to trial when you have these situations, these two situations, militating against such trial. So we took that position and we tried to relay it to the Honorable Court, but the court was insisting in the face of all this, especially the injustice of not allowing him his constitutional right to fail here, and the court was insisting on proceeding to trial. That left our client with no choice than to express his loss of confidence in the impartiality of the court. That's what happened. That's why he requested for the judge to recuse herself. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, sir, the issue of uh, settling out of court.
are these leaders and the federal government of Nigeria. And it's our understanding as a legal team that they are having discussions on that. Yes, but we, our job is to come here and practice law and protect the rights of our clients. Thank you. Thank you. I've also advised these people that instead of photoshopping, instead of causing ripples within the Action Alliance, why don't you go and look for other parties or register another party? That this matter has been settled. And I want to congratulate leaders of Action Alliance, members of Action Alliance across Nigeria, because what they are trying to do is to is to um, subjugate our party. Because some people are trying to find a way not to make sure that Action Alliance did not emerge in what we are planning ahead of 2027. Because you know this party, uh, some people are getting crazy with respect to how the way we are moving. And I want to assure Nigerians that they should keep believing in my leadership. And knowing fully we carry Action Alliance, all the members of Action Alliance across Nigeria, to make sure we enter into the government at the national level. So I want to thank God, I want to thank members of the party for believing in Chiba Isakene to raise the executive. This is a victory for Action Alliance again. The courts have advised these people distracting us to go and look for a play, another party to enter or register a party for themselves. Thank you and God bless you. My reaction is very simple. That the court again has decided that this matter has been settled that the action of these people amount to what we call foam shopping. That instead of foam shopping from one court to the other, in already that these people can find alternative in other political parties, or as well, register another political party. That there must be an end to litigation. And this has brought it to the end, conclusive end, that there's no division in AA, that AA remain one, and Kelly today they remain the national chairman. That's exactly what happened today. Shibu Zezke is my name the lawyer to the last chairman of Action Alliance. Oh, thank you.